multi-anvil micrometer. This is probably the best one inch micrometer on the market and it is reflected in the price. This is a fast video on how to use the Starrett 220 multi-anvil micrometer. It is also known as the Unimic. We're going to go through how to measure, how to change the components out, and a little bit on storage. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, so what we have here is a Unimic. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is an awesome little tool. It has so many uses. So I can use this as a regular mic right now. I say I wanted to measure this piece here. There we go. 136 thou. Now that we're here, we might as well take a look at our scale. Okay, so for every thimble rotation is 25 thou. Every large number, so 0 to 1, 1 to 2, those are 100 thou increments. The second largest one is this top one here which is 50 thou increment and then each one of these smaller ones on the bottom is 25 thou. So if we were to take a measurement we'll just go let's say we're right here right there that would be 525 thou. If I go this way that's 526 thou. If I go this way it's 524 thou. Back out a small amount more and that brings us to the larger number and that would be 550 thou. That'd be 549, that'd be 551. On this style, there is no vernier scale. We have no vernier scale on this micrometer. So this micrometer can only read 2000. Okay, but what's really cool about this, it's like a transformer, so it can transform. I can take this piece off on the bottom here by unscrewing this shaft. Pulling these two pieces out. Now this becomes a one inch depth mic. So if I had a step and I wanted to measure, I would hold the mic down like this, rotate, and use it as a very close quarter depth mic. Mold making and tool and die, guys use this all the time this way. Okay, let's change the angle and get a better angle of this. Push down with your thumb here. Go till you get a feel. And that's how you use a Unimic. Now let's reassemble this, but we'll put our pin in instead of the flat. So we're going to put our pin in. So here's our pieces. That goes into the hole in the bottom so they can't rotate. Our shaft goes in the top. We put our piece in here like this. Try to do it so we can see this. Okay. Now where would I use this at? This is when you have a round hole and a square edge, or a round hole and a curved outside edge. So I can do this guy here. Okay. That's our dimension here. Okay. And that's basically how you use a Unimic. Okay, storage of a Unimic. Do not ever have any micrometer zeroed out always keep it away okay and that's for thermal stability it can damage the threads and always return it back to its original case I hope that you enjoyed the video and if I've missed anything or if you have suggestions for topics of other videos please leave a message for me in the comments below If you've enjoyed this video
please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thank you for watching the video and have a great night.